Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get WhatsApp on your iPad so that you can use it to message your friends and family. At the time of this review, there is no official app for WhatsApp on iPad. The official app is available on iOS for the phones, but not on the iPad. And if you take a look at the App Store, there are some apps for WhatsApp, but these are not from the official developers. So when you're using those apps, you're going to see ads. The workaround is actually to use the web version of WhatsApp. So open up Safari, type in the URL for WhatsApp, which is web.whatsapp.com and hit go. This is how the web page will look like after it's loaded. There should be a QR code on the page. If you do not see this, you may have to go into uh, the settings to request the desktop version of the web page. To request the desktop version of the web page, just click this icon here beside the address bar and click request desktop website. So this will load the web page with the QR code. If you are using iOS instead of iPad OS on your iPad to load the desktop version, you just have to click and hold the refresh button and click request desktop site. Once you have the QR code on the iPad, go to your phone, open up WhatsApp, go to the home page and click this button here, the three dots button and click WhatsApp web and click the plus icon so that you can scan the QR code on the iPad. This will connect the web page to your WhatsApp account and all the messages will be loaded. Now there are some limitations to the web version of WhatsApp. The first limitation is when someone sends you a message, you are going to see that message instantly here when your web page is open. But if you are surfing the web or if you are watching YouTube, and you get a message, you're not going to see any notification. It's not going to appear on the notification center. Second limitation is after a few days, you will get signed out from the web page. So you have to do the scanning of the QR code again to connect the web page to your account. Third limitation is when it comes to loading certain content, sometimes the loading can be quite slow, slower compared to that on the phone. For example, with loading videos, it's going to take much longer. On the phone, it loads almost instantly. Fourth limitation is when it comes to uploading certain content, sometimes it may not work because of certain uh, limitations. For example, when uploading videos, I have a video that is 300 megabyte. The limitation for the website is actually 64 megabytes. On the phone, when you attach a video, it will compress the video to the size limit that is allowed for uploading. To add a shortcut button to WhatsApp on your home screen, just click this share button here. Scroll down to add to home screen and click add. So next time you want to use WhatsApp, you can just click on the shortcut. Now. If you click on the shortcut to open up WhatsApp, it will actually reload the web page. So if you don't want the reload, it's best to just um, go into the app switcher and select the web page rather than clicking on the shortcut button, which is going to reload it. So this is the workaround to using WhatsApp on your iPad. Hopefully the developers will create the official app for iPad in the future. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye!